Hey, my beautiful Leo, it's Kim Enchantress here to do your Lionsgate portal activation in your sign, Leo, 8th of the 8th, 2022. So, I hope you guys are doing well. Now, the Lionsgate portal is a very powerful time when the sun is in Leo. Your sign and the brightest star in the sky, Sirius, rises on the eastern horizon, aligns with Orion's belt. So, there is also this numerical significance of the number 8. And it being the 8th of the 8th. So the 8th represents completion, completeness, perfection. It's super potent moment for all to have spiritual growth. And the Lionsgate portal is a very unique phenomenon. It occurs once a year on the same day, 8th of the 8th, during the Northern Hemisphere's summer. So it's often described as being like a tunnel or a gateway through space and time where the veil becomes thin between heaven and earth it connects us with ancient wisdom and for many of us it represents a portal so it connects us to our inner self spirit guides our ancestors our loved ones the divine spiritual realms it's also um in addition to that it's about spiritual beliefs spiritual benefits um there's also practical applications to this lion's gate such as an increase in productivity. So if things have been a little bit stale late, you're going to see a boom. You know, uh, there's a lot of creative energy that's going to come through abundance and healing. So you're not feeling well. Healing uh, your heart because Leo's the heart center. So numerology 8 of the 8 is also considered very lucky number in numerology. So it's believed to bring good fortune to, to those on that day. So this is very auspicious energy, and because it falls on the 8th of the 8th, <coughs> excuse me, um, visually an 8 is also an infinity sign when it's turned upright. So it represents infinite, an ebb and flow about it. It's got this growth and contraction that's woven into life itself. Excuse me. So the day, the 8th of August, blends astrology and numerology together, it's got this interesting way of adding another layer to its mystical portal. So being the eighth day of the eighth month, it combined with the number eight, it's ultimate cosmic alignment. Because it's your season, Leo, it's making it easy to embody your energies of the lion. And with the sun in your sign, there's also no boundaries. Expansions for you and for everybody, you're going to be free to express yourself without any fear or judgment. You'll have that courage. So what does it mean for you? It means it's the perfect time to live out loud the part of you that needs to claim your space. Say what you feel, express yourself in the way you want to, and show that leadership in, in you. So you still have to do all the self-care and know your work, but it's time to take charge of your life and Push yourself forward here, Leo. So I'm going to, it's a very, very powerful time. So I'm going to um, pick some, pick a card from the Awakened Dreamer deck and see what we need to awaken for Leo, please, Spirit. Okay. What do we need to awaken? This? Okay, there we go. All right. Okay, spread your wings, Leo. Give yourself space to move and explore new surroundings. So definitely it's about that space center, claiming your space in, in the universe, seeing yourself becoming the butterfly version of yourself, wings and all. So basically transformation. So contemplate what it's like to fly, be light, dabble in new things, feel at liberty to create a little change or a complete metamorphosis, which is you get what you're going to go through. A lot of transformation. So that's beautiful. Uh, I'm going to pick, well, sorry, no, we'll go with the spiritual cards from the Lenormand deck, which I've already chosen, the tree, the key, and the crossing. So the tree, okay. Now the tree is about your state of health, karmic past life connections, whatever spiritual beliefs you believe in. It also unveils how strong that belief system is, your philosophies that you believe in. It's your spiritual life as a whole. And in Lenormand readings, it represents shamanism, druids, Aboriginal, tribes. Any spiritual path that involves nature is symbolized by this tree. Now we have 
the book and the man that's coming up for you. So, you know, this is you studying, Leo, about your ancestors and your roots. Maybe you're going back and looking in, um, you know, photo albums and trying to find out who you take after, basically. You may be um, a man here that you feel deeply rooted to, a male ancestor that's passed on. It could be about health issues that you have that you want to know who else in your family had this issue and... You know this man was very knowledgeable. Could have been a scientist or some kind of teacher or professor, but maybe you're finding out the truth about this man. Now we have the key. The key is about unlocking secrets and success. Opening doors that are um, going to be to your desires and wishes. However, in terms of spirituality with this key, it's best described as a higher overall universe uh, divine energy but it's a part of spirituality that's broad and intangible so it's something that you can touch and about life's lessons spiritual breakthroughs that you're going to have through the landscape portal these life lessons and connections to the spiritual world because of the veil being thin and in the Lenormand readings the key is going to point out important individuals in your life today relationships with these people whether they're karmic or not um, you know, people coming into our lives for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. So, you know, if it's for a reason, it's a karmic debt. Until that debt's uh, fixed up in this lifetime, then you move on. If it's for a season, it's probably to learn something from that person. If it's a lifetime, they're meant to be in your life. So it can um, show soulmate connections. It can indicate that you knew a person from the past life because they're familiar to you by their sight, their feel, or something about them that you just know them and you feel like you've met them before. And you've got the sun here. So definitely um, you're about to let light and happiness into your world, Leo, and to find out how to enjoy yourself and what's enjoyable in your life now. Finding... Some kind of obvious um, solution to a problem, maybe that health problem, or it could be as simple as having a day off from work, having a vacation, and this will open your mind to new things in life. So we've got the crossing. Now the crossing represents uh, a different types of religion, principles that go with that, and you know it's kind of faith and belief as well, but it goes beyond the chosen spiritual path, it gets into the heart of your belief system. It can represent places of worship where you go to pray, church, temples, mosques, any sacred space that you make in your home where you may want to pray or you just reflect on those passed on loved ones. And you've got the garden that's fallen out. So the garden is uh, you, Leo, being in the public eye and feeling like it's a burden to you because you have duties in society which is putting pressures on you. And because the burdens that you carry, because you're a member of society. So, you know, um, the way this is going to play out for you, and you've got your own card there, Leo, and a Pisces card. Pisces energy as well so you know it could be um, you finding out the truth and the facts about a man that's going to be positive facts truths that are going to make you feel happy and you know maybe knowing that you're not going to follow through your ancestors um, health issues this could be you finding out news through newspapers news channels venues that make things or facts public like uh, a public library or an internet connection because it goes out to everybody. So there's going to be public celebrations, you sharing joy with everyone, public recognition and you exposing something to, to the public. You're going to feel um, more happy and confident as a person when you present this, this news. So maybe, um, you know, because you are in the public eye, Secrets will be revealed around the Lionsgate portal. Now, let's pull a gratitude oracle card. See what you can be grateful for around the Lionsgate portal. Um, so, you know, you're going to be revealing some facts and truth here. But, you know, giving yourself that space 
to move and explore new surroundings as well. Have time off from the public eye. It's going to give you a different perspective in life and find a new, uh, better version of yourself. Being able to, um, you know, dabble in new things. Change, uh, make some changes to yourself. Okay, what do we have for our beautiful Leos, please? On the Lionsgate portal, 8 to the 822. What are these? Okay, Leo. So you're going to come out for Leos, please. Sure did. There you go. Okay, we've got merriment. So, yeah, definitely about being happy. You know, uh, taking that time out, feeling that playful youth again. Um, maybe go sailing or horse riding, perhaps. You know, you've got the angels behind you. Um, maybe go whale watching or something like that. But I'm going to read exactly what this card means for you guys. So give me a moment. It is number 35, so that breaks down to 8. So, yeah, definitely um, a new cycle's coming for you. So, number 35, Merriment. Okay, I'll let you reflect on this card. And, you know, you might be able to see your own messages there. But someone's lighting the way for you uh, to follow a, a different path here, I'm feeling. But, you know, you, appreciating the funny and uplifting aspects of your life. And maybe you're choosing to laugh now, where before you were a little bit more restrained. So joy, happiness and laughter is a natural part of the human behaviour. So when you share a laugh with someone, Leo, it creates connections and acceptance. Laughing can celebrate the good or help you move through difficulties in life. It's also a positive way to relieve, uh, release tension and toxins from your body. Because laughing engages muscles and connects the body and the mind. In the addition to elevating your mood, being merry can uh, benefit you physically as well. So laughter has this contagious effect on those around you. And when you laugh more, the people you are with also begin to laugh. Not only does laughter shift everyone's mood for the better, it alleviates stress and also adds to the enjoyment when you gather with people. So your laughter will lift the energy of others. They're going to say the positive side of things. Uh, Leo and you know they're going to see you as a joyful person so this positivity is going to touch every aspect in your life improve your more into um, intimate relationships which in turn will reduce your stress and create more joy and happiness in your life so you may find laughter reduces physical pain if you're not well of late and as I said you have been researching your ancestors health um you know, laughing is also going to take your mind off discomfort and releases endorphins in the body, which is going to be effective because you get to uh, lessen the painkillers. So additionally, it's going to boost your immune system. You know, like, have you ever noticed that you feel relaxed and content after a good laugh? It's a wonderful um, to laugh and be merry. And um, if you look at the two boys on this card... They're expressing happiness as they play with that top there. You'll see bubbles up the top of the card. I'm not sure if you can see that. There's bubbles up the top. Um, which is next to the ship and, the, and the, uh, the stallion there that's rearing up in the background. So this man is riding on a dolphin. And the dolphin represents playfulness and joyfulness. The stallion relates to using your energy to get positive outcome. And the bubble suggests a need to be in control or a reflection of your childhood. So, you know, that's going back to childhood and maybe catching up with some childhood friends perhaps. But sometimes you need to burst that bubble to be in the present and take time for things that bring you joy and laughter. Appreciate the funny and uplifting aspects in your life and just choose to laugh more more often, Leo. 
So, you know, having that time out from work, maybe having a day off or going on a, a bit of a trip, a bit of a vacation. Let's pull an outcome card from the Animal Tarot and see what we have for you, Leo. So you're going to be spreading your wings a little bit more, more laughter in your life. Thank you. So this is um, an intellectual challenge that calls on your ability to think of a matching solution. And as I said, you're going to find a solution to all your problems. Um, you'll get some helpful information. Someone that is loyal and trust, uh, trustworthy, someone that's undiplomatic and a little bit curious, is coming in with helpful information. And they're going to... And, you know, you've got to accept that message without being bothered by whoever sent the message to you. So this is just a third-party situation. You are going to come out of all the confusion here, spreading your wings like the Awakened Dreamer said. You know, giving yourself the space and exploring new surroundings, taking that time off work and uh, having a little bit of a holiday, catching up with old school friends and thinking of those memories and laughing and uh, healing within yourself and healing others because it's going to be very infectious. So that's all I have for you guys. I enjoyed doing this reading for you, Leo. In your sign, the Lionsgate Portal. I will be back next month with uh, musicians' readings if that's your thing. Otherwise, I do have content on Facebook and I have put the link below. Love to you all. Bye for now.